All right, let's get this going. We're going to have a pretty chill stream. Make sure everything's looking okay. Everything looks pretty good. No, it's not. It's not grabbing the game. Where's my game? Grab the game, OBS. Come on. You know you want to. Do I got to do it this way? That's fine. I can do it that way. I can work with that. Aha! There, it grabbed it. Yes. Very excellent. All right, so we're going to be doing some Road to Riches grinding tonight, so it's going to be nice and chill. Audio levels seem okay. Check one, two. Very nice. All right. So I am out in the middle of, uh, I, I don't know, does, does COL stand for Colony? I don't even know, but the 285 sector. Uh, Seoul is over here. I'm not that far away. How, how many? I haven't even looked yet. I, ha I haven't looked at how many jumps away from Seoul I am. Simply because I don't want to be encouraged to end my run early. But I'm curious now how many jumps it is. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. So I'm not that far away from Civilization. Uh, but as of right now, let me get this down a little bit. Yeah, thereabouts. All right, we need to go to six and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that looks pretty. Is that a ringed water? That'll be interesting. Oh. Retract hard points. Deactivating hard points. Switch HUD mode. Engage Super Cruise. Engaging Super Cruise. What? What? Cannot comply. Retract hard points. I did not hit her. I did not. Could have sworn I had just done that. Engage Super Cruise. Engage Super Cruise. Engaging Super Cruise. That's right. So these two are a little ways away from the, from the star, but not too bad. stuff are working appropriately. Oh, why did I call it Roads to Riches? Should be Road to Riches. I said and I said that in a video the other day and I was like Roads to Riches. No, it's Road to Riches, you dummy. Let's go update that. finally got the pattern down of when I need to uh, when I need to slow down and when I need to dethrottle completely it's kind of a nice it's a nice pattern to get used to um, it's very relaxing Whoa, that's a big ring. Hold up, I want to look at that from this side. 
Whoa! Look at how far out the ring is from the planet. It is a water world. Okay. Oh, that's so slick. Now, one thing I haven't really done yet, because I haven't done mining. Apparently, you can scan the ring. And it just takes one pop, basically. So, like, well, let me take care of the planet first. I One thing that drives me nuts is I'm having to lower the sensitivity on my mouse um, when I go in to do this and then raise it when I leave it. Because my mouse normally is at this sensitivity and it's just, it goes way too crazy. I'd love contextual mouse sensitiv sensitivity in the game. So apparently we want that too. Oh, that's so cool. I haven't done that yet. Very nice. Oh, that was on the ring. Oh, we didn't hit it? Uh, I don't know that that one's going to get it either, actually. I should have gone further out. Drat. I've been doing so good at this. Rat. Yeah, we gotta go out like that. Here it goes. Boom. That'll do it. And we need the next planet as well. Yeah, 14 jumps to soul. That's not too bad. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I just realized with my blue shirt on, I'm just kind of a floating head. Uh, another ring planet right there. High metal. Convenient. They're both very close to each other. So we got six. Get my little tally sheet on my iPad over here. I'm going through 500 systems. And I'm on 180. There's another big, big ring. Or at least big ring or a small planet with a normal size ring. I missed my, I missed my, uh moment. Slow down. Dang, that's so cool looking. Now, is that going to hit the planet? Or is that going to hit the ring? Like, I don't really know. Yeah, that says ring. That's not ring. Okay. I want, Does the ring count toward the percentage? I don't think it does. There we go. No, they are two totally different things. All right, that's it for that one. CD dash I C ten dash seven. Oh, yeah, you can see the minerals that, that the ring has. I really dig that. That's neat. Engage warp drive. We're going to almost crash into a sun. I guarantee it.
here we're going to planet two. Two. Man, a lot of these systems I've been seeing have a, lot, have a lot of ringed planets. This one's one, two, three, four, five, six. I saw one earlier that was nine ringed planets, plus tons of other planets and moons and stuff. It was crazy. Whoops. Once again, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that's a cool looking ring that we're about to crash into. This one. Surface scan complete. Surface scan complete. Hey, Kane, what's up, Med? good a little hot it's the coffee <laughs> engage warp drive here comes the song I was talking with my buddy um, he's gonna pick up just he's just gonna grab a whole bunch of tickets to the uh to the AEW show just because we know a lot of people who are going to want to go and so we're going to want to sit together we're really excited we're not really happy with the venue that they chose it's kind of a smaller venue we were hoping for the basketball arena in town instead they chose this like outdoor amphitheater thing it's alright it'll be fun but they could they could fill much larger than that All right, I need seven. Crazy Monkey, what's up, bud? Uh, seven? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> we just open a window during the winter when it's not too hot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we can't do that here in Florida. Um, yeah, no, AEW announced when they, when they were in Jacksonville announcing you know jericho signing and all that stuff and they announced the uh they announced the las vegas show they then announced that our second show will be back here in, in jacksonville um which is exciting and we it was like great but then they announced the venue and we were like oh but so it's not it's not a big enough of a deal that you would have necessarily necessarily heard about it. They just kind of told us because it's it's a house show. Let's be honest, it's a house show. But we should be getting a lot of that stuff because the the owners in Jacksonville. So all 
even if we get the even if we get the 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 B characters, I won't complain. Yeah. We were really excited when I found out. I was like, Shad Khan. Wait, is that how he spells his name? Like, I had never seen his name spelled out, his first name. I was like, is that the Khans? And it was him and his son. His son was the was the bigger name on it. Yes, Hill Dragon, I am doing the multi-stream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Hill Dragon sitting there on YouTube wondering who I'm talking to. I didn't put the chat in the video just because I'm never really a huge fan of that. Um, but yeah, I'm just talking to Kane about uh, wrestling stuff. Not not wrestling Kane, different Kane. <laughs> Hill Dragon's like, Kyle's talking to himself on a stream. Like, talking to yourself in a video is fine, but on a stream? <laughs> Speaking of talking to yourself in a video, you're going to love the upcoming rim world because emily was sitting on the couch behind me and she had a lot to say about some things i was saying but i had just adjusted some things with my mic and it didn't pick up a word she was saying i was like sorry <laughs> you're not you are not gonna believe what happens in rim world it's oh it's crazy we lose more people Engage warp drive. I will show you the way. I also, speaking of RimWorld, I also picked up uh, Death Road to Canada. It was on sale on um, on Switch, and I had some points saved up from buying stuff. And um, and so I got Death Road to Canada, which is going to have it's going to lend itself to more shows, more series like. RimWorld, which I think will be a nice break because I love that, but RimWorld can be exhausting. I'm glad your kids are enjoying that. My my family has been having a great time watching that. My mom's all confused when we talk about it. Dude, nice. I love coming up on two close sons. Stars. Sorry. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. Yeah. All right, we're going to a couple planets here. CD1234. These are a bit out there, but I want to do it. Yeah. So they're orbiting two different planets, or two different stars. So cool. But yeah, your kids are the only, gameplay-wise, they're the only f worthwhile people I have. And, and, and pixels. Everybody else, man, something goes wrong. My family, let's just be honest. Oh, I could while I'm doing this. <clears throat> well, no, I can't. Well, no, no, I, I can go ahead and get this typed in. Next is... Oops. Oh, sweet. You, you got your SummerSlam stuff. That's awesome. That'll be really fun.
Oh, but I didn't want to. No, no. Oh, whoops. I didn't want to select it. Whoops. Whoops. I just wanted to search it. There we go. There we go. Cost was pretty big, but I'll go. I'll be going to NXT Takeover, SummerSlam, and Raw, and meet some of the wrestlers. So who knows? Maybe you'll see me, <laughs> dude. That's gonna be nuts. You're gonna be so tired. I won't see you actually. Well, if I see you, it'll be on Raw. My buddy and I stopped paying for uh, for uh, uh. It's been so long. I can't even remember what the what the stinking service is called. WWE Network. Uh, we haven't been watching him forever. And we were, he was he called me. He was like, dude. Is it okay if I cancel our because we share a subscription? He's like, is it alright if, if we cancel the subscription? I was like, dude, that's fine. I have not been watching. Becky Lynch is has been the only thing that I found any interest in. Apparently, I saw something. She was Becky Lynch was the second most talked about athlete on Twitter this week, just behind Serena Williams or something like that, which is crazy. But then I got to thinking. What other athletes are doing stuff right now worth talking about? Like, I don't do sports, but, like, what other sports are going on right now to be talked about? Oh, man, those stars are pretty close, too. That one is... Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's about half the size. Yeah, I do I I do miss the pay-per-views a little bit, but I don't miss trying to keep up with Raw and SmackDown. But I just I just keep up with stuff online and that way that way when I am ready to start watching again, I'm not completely lost on what's happening. Next, we want two. That's, you know, it's funny you ask how the riches are coming along because I don't know. You don't know until you return. Basically, what's happening is I'm gathering a whole bunch of data. Um, how this works is you, you go to a website and you tell it, here's where I am. So I was in Seoul. No, actually, I wasn't in Seoul. I was somewhere else. Did I go to Seoul? I think I started in Seoul. Anyways, let's say you, you tell it. I'm starting in Seoul. And you say, I want to go to this many sectors or this many systems and I want to travel maximum this far um, and it gives you a list of the most profitable planet types that you can hit and jump from boom 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 in a sequence and so that's effectively what I'm doing is I'm going to all these specific types of planets grabbing data about them uh, and I'm gonna go back and sell it all. Well, why am I why am I going so fast on that? Dang. Um, uh, but you grab all the data, you sell it to them, and then you find out how much money you get. 
You don't know until you're done with the whole thing. Like, I'm re I'm not that far from Seoul. I think I looked earlier, I was like 15, I'd be about 15, 16 jumps from Seoul right now. And part of me wants to return home and just see how much I've made so far. But I'm like, no, I committed to 500 systems. I want to do it. Uh, but not only is it going to get me money, but it's also going to get me an elite rank in exploration, which is huge. That'll, I think that gives me some, uh, that gives me some permits that I don't have right now. Specifically a permit to a station that is really like legendary and a lot of people use it as their home station because it's, it sells every ship in the game and at the 10% discount. So a lot of people use that as their home base of operations. So basically what you're doing here, what you're seeing is you're shooting these probes at the planet, basically. And you get bonus points, bonus monies, bonus riches if you do it in a certain number of uh, probes. So it's a bit like golf. More sports that I don't know anything about. I'm just hoping to have enough money to get either an anaconda or the Corvette, something, something along those lines. It'd be so awesome. stop looking at my phone right as I'm coming up on a planet. No! No! Messed it up again. new subscriber sha 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 colin sha sha colin 90 i think that's the first time i've ever actually heard that in a stream <laughs> uh what's up Rhett? i'm for real saving 200 dollars for a pokemon shirt for my birthday in august you dude i need one they look so awesome But yeah, I think it's the first time I've actually noticed the the sound effect for the new subscribers on the stream. Because every other time I've streamed, I didn't realize I had it turned down for me. And so I wasn't hearing it. And I was like, I got some subscribers during the stream. Why didn't I see that? Hey, I do what I can. <laughs> uh, where am I going now? Four, number four. You, you just keep adding bigger and bigger words that I don't know the meaning to. Let me type this one in. Manifluous. 
of a voice or words, sweet or musical, pleasant to hear. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to have you design it from the patterns I like. Hey, I will I will take one for the team on that one. Whoops! That's what I get for Googling the word malif That word. About crashed into a planet. No, we're not underwater quite yet. Actually, I, I, I mowed for the first time this year today um, because every other chance I've had to mow or every other weekend, either my back has been killing me or it's been raining so bad. And like, not that it's raining on the day I need to mow, but if it rains the few days before I need to mow, my yard is just a swamp and it's impossible to mow. Uh, so no, we're not underwater quite yet. I'll be low on that totem pole. <laughs> it'll it'll creep up from the south. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was keeping up with those fires, man. That's nuts. There was one where... Where was the one recently? There was another fire recently. All right, let's... Oh, do I still have my route selected? No. Resume route. I will show you the way. Thank you. <laughs> if we could just combine the two rising waters where the fires are happening. See? That's all we need. GRE... It's been too long. <laughs> Graduate record examinations. Got it. I knew it was something with school, but it's been so long since I've done anything relating to that. Not that I had any other reason to know what that was. Fires in Australia. That For some reason, that's frightening to me. Like... Scaring the animals out of the woods and into the cities, and I'm just, I just, I just picture it being like massive panic in Australia. But I also imagine the people being like, eh, just kind of <laughs> blow it out. SAT for grad school. Okay, yeah. See, there you go. Yeah. See, you're you're beyond the level I ever even dreamed of approaching. So you're getting into acronyms that I I know not. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Australian fires are probably venomous. I like that. Oh, I didn't honk my horn yet in this one. Oh, and I haven't been doing my FSS scanner. I've been busy chatting and forgetting to do that. Granted, I don't always do the FSS scanner, but it is helpful. Get you some extra money. Hey, it was good to see you, Rhett. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck on that, on the, on the 
I, I've already forgotten what the letters were. GRE. There it is. <laughs> I was like reaching so hard. <laughs> Done with that one. Service scan complete. Activate FSS. Activating first scanner. All right. Let's find all the things. Hello. Oh, that one's pretty. I like to I like to find all from within a specific frequency and then move from there, especially if it's like a big outlier, like way out there like this one is, the gas giants. There we go. There she blows. All right, so that's all those. So now all these are close together. Well, not physically close, but similar. Very fine, very fine. Oops. One here. Where are you? What are you? Oh, are you asteroid? Yeah, you're just asteroids. What's that? High metal? It looks different. Oh, is there more there? No. There we go. This has become, this scanner has become my favorite little mini game of the game. All right, what's that there? Oh, that's just a distress signal. Or, yeah. Whatever they're called. There we go. This should be the last two. Ooh. That one's pretty. Rocky Ice World with rings. Very cool. Oh, uh, I gotta type in the next one. And I believe there's a program that will like do all this for you and like put it in and create a uh, like a a step by step route or something. But I was like, not that that's unimmersive because it wouldn't be possible in this world. Um. But, I don't know, that just seems like, I don't know, I, I would rather know where, I would, I feel like I wouldn't know where I'm going. I want to type it in so that I feel like I know where I'm going, even though I have no earthly idea where I'm going. So what do I think about Rousey's not promo promo? I think she is, I think I still, I still think it's not, I still think it's a work. I still think it was scripted. And I still think she's genuinely a good actress. I, th well, <laughs> I think she's genuinely good at portraying the character they want her to portray. It's not to say she's a good, well-rounded actress, but she's really good at sounding really mad and really, you know, I don't care what, nobody has to say about me and stuff like that so I think um, I think it's a work and I think it's a very good one and I think although she's not the best woman on the roster I think she's the most valuable woman on the roster because she's doing for them what they wish they could try to get Brock Lesnar to do for them um, they would love to have Brock Lesnar come in and cut a bunch of promos talking about 
uh, WWE is fake and UFC is real fighting and I could really beat anyone else here. And he could say that and he could mean it because he, he would be being honest. Um, and Ronda is too, honestly. But Brock is too pricey for that. Understandably so. So I say all that to say this. I think Ronda is possibly the most important hire of the last decade. Is that too bold of a statement for someone who wasn't even watching all of the last decade? I don't think it's too bold of a statement. I think she's what they need. Well, I mean, I'm trying to think, like, who else have they brought on? Like, obviously, AJ Styles is a big hire for them. Um, and had they done more with him, maybe it would have been a bigger deal. Uh, I can't think of who else. Who else, especially in terms of the American audience, is a bigger deal. Really? Rey Mysterio's in town. That's cool. I hear he's a cool guy. I've got to keep an eye on the clock. Because I know it says 848. But what it really says is 948. I chose a really bad weekend to decide to just, oh, I'm going to randomly do a stream. Oh, whoops. Forgot to drop. No, I'll be good. I'm not going to crash. Yes, it is spring forward time already. No, no, no. This is it's it's legit spring forward. Despite the fact that due to a glitch that an unforeseen glitch that I in, in retrospect it was a bad I tested a new feature in MailChimp and it backfired on me. And I sent out an email a week early containing, set your clocks back. And I was like, ah, crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That means you got to get to bed. See, aren't you glad you tuned in now? You would have been late for work tomorrow. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though. Because unless you're a caveman who sets his alarm using an alarm clock and even then a lot of alarm clocks nowadays change automatically we all wake up to our phones we don't need oh my phone looks weird because of the green screen that's kind of cool um we don't need to worry about the time change because it's just going to happen automatically all right in this one we're going to two and three a2 and a3 Ooh, that one's atmospheric though. I'm gonna go look at that one. So close to the to the star. Computer. How can I help you? Tell me a joke. How many apples grow on a tree? All of them.
So I want to catch it on the dark side a little bit. Whoops. Oh, that one doesn't have a whole lot to it. Man. That got dark real fast. Now that one wasn't all that interesting. That's sad. My downloads are limited to my read-write speeds. <laughs> That's the bottleneck you want. The kind of bottleneck you control. Also, I hate you. By the way, by the way, spoiler alert. You are the rival in my Pokemon Let's Go. Let's play. So be prepared for all sorts of horrible... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, miss impersonations of you. <laughs> My kids are so excited about that series. What's great about it is it has an unforeseen benefit. So my daughter, she's she's at this age where she really wants to play video games, but she can't read yet. And so she's left with boring clickers and stuff like that which I'm, I'm thinking of maybe getting her to try plantera on switch which is a, a clicker but it's a it's a different kind of clicker it's like it's like it's like kingdom new lands for kids it's really what that game is um but anyways she really wants to play minecraft and i we actually bought minecraft on the switch today so that because that controller works better than my xbox controller and she had been playing with the controller on the computer but uh, so she's playing Minecraft on the Switch now, and she's learning it. But she's getting she gets frustrated and bored because she she's not good at it yet. But anyways, um, she asked if she could play Pokemon, and I was like, actually, yeah, you can play Pokemon because she's watching my videos and she sees what she's supposed to do. She remembers it even though she doesn't know that, you know, she's supposed to go here and talk to this person based on what they've told her but she knows based on the video uh how much do you know about that game did you accidentally name your friend after me instead of your rival because that's a big that's the thing that, wait well, yeah i was okay okay so episode two okay here's the thing to answer your first question i don't know a lot about let's go i don't know a lot about the differences um is there a rival that's different from your neighbor wasn't that the rival in the first game also question for you <laughs> question for you help me remember the name the default name of the rival in in the original pokemon i don't know why kevin and kenny are the names that are com coming to me but i could not remember what his name was ash gary gary right it was gary i remember it was something really bland and plain so anyways is that is that different because here's the funny thing i keep in the commentary i keep ragging on hill dragon assuming he's my rival and then hill dragon comes back and he's all nice to me and stuff and i'm like what's with this i'm trying to be mean to my rival and my rival just keeps being nice to me i'm like it kind of makes me feel bad so now come to find out from you there's a rival and a friend and I named you my friend on accident? Dang it. My wife's laughing in the background. She's getting a good kick out of that. The rival shows up a few episodes in. In the original, the rival, rival was your neighbor. <sighs> I cannot believe I did that. Like, it makes me want to restart the game, except I have a Pikachu that I absolutely love. Maybe I'll name my rival the real Hill Dragon. <laughs> I honestly, honestly, no joke, had no idea. No idea. I did not know they changed. I kept wondering why he was being so nice to me. 
And you'll see in episode two that I'm like, this isn't how it was before. Did they change that? Just to like, to like, like detract from supporting bullies or something like that? You know, one of those things? Dang it. I can't believe that. All right, three and four. <coughs> now I got to think of who my rival is going to be. <coughs> Oh, that's funny. M, the basement had the same issue. They ran into the same problem. <clears throat> and I constantly refer to you in the game as Hill Dragon in honor of them and their and their accents. That that I'm I'm sure their accents don't come through that strongly, but for me, a Southerner, I hear I hear I hear Hill Dragon like almost every time they say your name. Started watching your Elite episode some days ago while I'm trying to sleep because I'm it's so relaxing. And I'm at episode 10 right now. Saw that you were streaming, so just wanted to say thank you. Hey, Shakalakin, and you subscribed about 30 minutes ago. Thank you, bud. I'm glad you find them relaxing. It is a very relaxing game. Um, I need to do more. I need, to, especially with the Road to Riches, I need to, I, I need to stream this a bit more than I have had been previously. Maybe every, maybe every couple of weeks. Because I, I totally agree. The best, especially streams, the best kind of streams to watch of Elite Dangerous are the really relaxing, chill ones. Uh, which this one's been amped up since Hill Dragon just filled me in on my misconceptions of Pokemon Let's Go. Um, but yeah, I totally agree. Those are those are generally my favorite Elite videos and, and streams. So I'm really excited about these Road to Riches. For that reason. By the way, guys, I discovered a Twitch streamer who does Elite Dangerous. I think he mostly does, like, Warhammer stuff. And I wish I could remember what his name is. But it's Father John or Father Rick or something like that. The dude's a legit Catholic priest who streams games. It's the coolest thing. And he's, like, wearing his old garb and, you know, the little get-up. I don't know. I'm not Catholic. I don't know what all that stuff's called. Um, uh, his little, you know, the little non-tie tie thing. Done here. Service scan complete. And we're almost done with this page. I think. Yeah. Is that it? Hip one hundred four six five. That's it. Whoops. All right, while we get lined up, I'm going to go grab a tissue real quick. There we go. Engage warp drive. Warp drive engage.
That's a red sun. Did I scan yet? I don't remember. Let's honk again, just in case. Here we're going to A2, A3. A little bit closer.
All right, that does it for this page. Next page, starting at 188. Ooh, ooh, that's a big system. Ooh, I don't think we're gonna do all of that. Oh man, some of those are 42,000 light seconds from the sun. Not gonna be doing that. But we'll at least go there. Actually, I should probably do an FSS on this sector. Since I'm here, I don't think there's too many more to scan. Might as well. I don't know if you get a bonus for having an entire sector scanned with FSS or not. <clears throat> I would assume you do. Or you... I don't know. Gotta skip out a ways a little bit and then run it. I find that helps to kind of put some distance between you and most of the planets. <clears throat> kind of helps. It could help get them closer together in the FSS scanner. Activate FSS. This scanner activated. This scanner. What are you? There you are. Rocky Ice World. Yeah, this won't take long at all. Hello. One more? <clears throat> Where are you at? Oh. Thank you. Oh, I've already got it typed in. Perfect. Activate warp drive. I know the way. <laughs> Do you know the way? Tell me a joke. Why don't skeletons ever go trick or treating? Because they have no body to go with. Uh -huh. <laughs> One thing I've been doing recently when grinding on this, and I think I'm going to do when I'm done with the stream too. Uh, maybe for a little bit. I don't know. Because we're only we're going to do like a few more jumps, and then I'll be done. I think. Um. I put on a podcast and listening to podcasts is great for grinding an elite. But one thing that helps with the immersion is running the podcast audio through a filter that makes it sound um, lower quality. And I know this sounds really weird. This sounds really, really bizarre. But here's here's my reasoning. One, it's how, like, the communication, the in-game chat sounds for voice chat. Uh, even the computer noise isn't super high fidelity where she sounds like an actual, you know, person right next to you. But also, even, um, what am I looking for? Here we go. Even Galnet. It has this, it has this sort of main sound to it. Uh, yes, that stuff. And so what I do is I will download the audio for a podcast. This is this is complete overkill. I will download the audio for a podcast, throw it into to Vegas in the background, apply um what's the audio effect called? It's called um I don't even remember. But anyways, uh. Oh, I've just been tagged on Discord. Uh, anyways, I'll throw it into a uh, into into Vegas. Turn on a filter, and it makes it sound like an old timey radio type thing, and it makes it so immersive because it sounds like it's legit, like from the game. All right, here we go. If you put a series, if you put a series of out of phase metronomes on a movable surface, they will synchronize themselves according to what is called. A Kuramoto model of synchronization. What? 
What? I'm assuming it's talking about physical metronomes that do this. If you put a series of out of phase metronomes on a movable surface, they will synchronize themselves according. Oh, okay. So this is a tweet that my brother just gave to me, sent to me. Um, so if you got metronomes doing this, right, and they're out of phase, the if they're on a movable surface, I'm assuming kind of like a swing type situation. Eventually, you know, they're going to cause the swing to sway, but because of that swaying of the swing, they will eventually line up together. Oh, I can't wait to look at that tweet more. And now I got another mention. Oh, and yeah, here's the full video. Uh, I don't know. I don't go in streamer mode because I'm not in. I don't have. I don't. I don't have desktop uh, Discord open. I rarely, if ever, have that open. Oh, it's like I know y'all aren't gonna be able to see this. Here we go. Wait, no, I can't go full screen. Uh, it's like a whole. Y'all can't see that. It's a whole bunch of metronomes on a table. That's really cool. Yeah, no, I'm not in streamer mode right now, Hill Dragon. Uh, so I think with this place, we're just going to fly out a bit from the sun. Star. And then do an FSS. And then we'll probably do the next system and call it a night. But yeah, I don't, I don't put Discord into streamer mode because I never have desktop Discord open. I've always got Discord in the browser and I've got the browser closed right now, so... But on my phone, Discord is always an ever-present entity of my life. <laughs> Activate FSS. FSS scanner activated. Psst, scanner, I just had coffee pop up all over my face. I love that mug, but my goodness, that's the one problem I have with it. My wife is over there probably thinking, if you drank from a Tervis, that wouldn't happen. I boycott you and your turvises. You were thinking it, weren't you? No, I've got I've got one more sector after this, and then I'm done. <laughs> okay, for the sake of my marriage, we're gonna end the stream at this system, not the next system, because my wife has a hankering for some French fries and a frosty from Wendy's. And when I say french fries and a frosty, yes, she dips her french fries in the frosty. Which isn't bad, I just know some people probably wouldn't like it. Uh, is that it there? Is that all? There's a lot there. Hold up, hold up. There we go. Bless wife, yes. But, I love when she gets a hankering for, you know, frosty and fries. Because that means I get to go get me like a double stack or something. She she snacks on snack food. I snack on burgers. <laughs> I'll never forget when my brother first got his driver's license and a car. We would be sitting there at night watching TV. Usually um maybe Deep Space 9 or uh, what was the old uh, Space Ghost Coast to Coast? Was that Adult Swim in that era? Like the early iterations of Adult Swim, whether it was Adult Swim or not, I don't remember what it was called. But Space Ghost was generally something we would watch late at night. But anyways, there'd be a commercial for Burger King that'd come on. And we'd get a hand garden for some Burger King chicken tenders. And so we'd go get some. It was the best. Was that Adult Swim back there? Okay. Or back then, because like I, I feel like I feel like it was called that, but it wasn't that big of a thing back then. But I I do know that whatever it was definitely evolved into Adult Swim. I just didn't remember if that's what it was called. Man, Space Ghost, man, that show was the best. The intro would just flat out give you a seizure, but man, it was the best. All right, that'll do it for this stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um. Yeah, I'll be doing this more. I, I, I like I like doing the Road to Riches videos much better on a stream environment than video environment. So assuming I'm not done with Road to Riches by next week, 
Well, no, next week we're probably going to Wild Adventure, so I'm going to be too tired. So I'll go ahead and tell you now. I ain't going to have a stream next week. So I'm going to go get me a burger. Go get my wife a fry and Frosty and uh, happy wife, happy life. So we'll see you guys next time. Adios. Goodbye.